What's going on, y'all? So What's going on, y'all? So we are back again for another episode review of The Oval. This is season five episode, well, season two, episode five of Stranger in the House. Let me just tell you something. <laughs> Jason gotta go, okay? <laughs> the Jason gotta go. They talking about committing that boy. Bitch, fuck committing. Put that nigga down, okay? Put him down, all right? Like, just take him out back and bury him in the yard. <laughs> Because he is just too much, all right? But let me just tell you this. After all that shit that happened, you know, she done strangled uh, Victoria. Victoria pissed about that. Wait, before that, you know, um, what wound up happening is they trying to get to him and he was like listen do you my fourth vi you gonna be my fourth victim okay and um they was like wait a minute what you talk about i killed denise i killed jay uh jean justice for jean and i killed the grandma and they was like ain't that about a bitch and you know what he was like this y'all fault okay she was like no nah, this ain't our fault okay first of all we gave you everything that you ever wanted yeah you gave me everything that i ever wanted but stuff of love okay you never loved me or jet gail i'm sitting here like ooh, bitch Y'all parents love your kids. Tell them that you love them every now and then. You don't want them to grow up to be psycho killers like this, okay? With mental issues and shit. That is no joke, all right? But then again, sometimes, you know, they still, you can love them and give them all the hugs in the world and, and they still turn out a little crazy. But um, next thing you know, he was like, y'all made me this way. It was like, yeah, I killed Denise, okay? I seen the shit that y'all do, all right? The, she was a dirty woman. He was like, I seen everything. And this the part they got me. He was like, yeah, you know, he, you 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 like to choke her. You piss on her. You spit on her. I said, oh, what the fuck? You know, the whole time I'm thinking R. Kelly and Trey Songz when he said all of this. I said, oh, you like to piss play and you like spitting. Because them two like the same damn things, okay? Um, and I was just like, oh my God, this is disgusting. You know, I was here for the choking. And then when he said the other shit, I said, oh no, let me exit that out. Let me, in uh, I got to exit this conversation right about now. You know, he was like, I synced it all. You know what I'm saying? And she just take it. You know, she's a nasty girl. She was a nasty woman doing nasty things. Okay. And just taking this stuff from you. You do nasty shit. And mama, don't let me get on your ass because I seen you when you was trying to seduce Sam, when you did this to so-and-so and when you did this to so-and-so, I said, oh shit. He said, bitch, I see it all. I hear it all. She was like, first of all, we ain't finna fuck with your ass no more. We finna have your ass committed, okay? We gonna call that FBI. We gonna get your ass out of this goddamn house or whatever. That's what's finna happen. He was like, bitch, you're not finna do nothing to me. Next thing I know, he get bucked. I said, Victoria, you crazy, but at this point in time, I think he just might be a little bit more crazier than you. Okay, so I would suggest you just step the fuck back for a minute. Next thing you know, he done choked her ass out. He was like, I'm not getting out of here. You're not kicking me out. I'm going to stay up in here. And then when Hunter finally let him go, because Hunter, he white. He's so in disbelief, like, oh, my God, my son can never. You know, black people like, ain't this about a bitch? This little motherfucker got the nerve. We done already came to terms with it. You know, we already came to terms with it. Hunter's still trying to come to terms with it. We like your, your, your son crazy. Victoria's saying that the boy needs to be committed. He trying to um pry them apart. You know, what, you know what I'm saying? After he done lunched at Victoria and tried to kill her right then on the spot, you know, he gonna say, you're not gonna let me go. I'm staying here. I'm not leaving, okay? I'll be in my room. You let me know when lunch is ready. I said, somebody go get the gun. <laughs> At that moment, I was like, somebody go get the gun. Okay, because no, we're not about to do this. We are not about to do this. And then, you know, Victoria, she so shooketh, you know what I'm saying? She got a freaking lead because she not here for the stuff. She up there trying to tell uh, 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 Hunter, we got to take care of this situation called the FBI. Put that man um, in the goddamn committed place or whatever. I'm tired of him. That that ain't no son of mine. You know, I, I didn't breed no character like that. What's going on? And we need to get the hunt, um, the, um, FBI to come and take this body away. Hunter still want um, Donald and Cal to come up there. It was like, you can't trust these people. And he was like, I'm doing my way, okay? And that's eventually what happened. You know, Donald and um, Cal wind up coming up there. 
told him to open up the trunk and see that it was Gene up in there and, you know, want Cal to take care of the body and all this stuff. It, it a mess. But what got me was the last scene with um, Hunter up here doing dick pics, okay? Your son, your son who just went ballistic, who just admitted to, you know, killing people, and you are still in this mode of let me show my dick. Like, I just don't get it. I don't get it. How are you this hypersexual right about now, okay? And he's, you know, taking pictures of dick. And Victoria comes in and was like, listen, this is what you're doing? This is what you're doing? Like, your son just did all this stuff. We need to have him committed. We got to call the FBI. I'm doing this. My father going to be pissed off. You know, we got to plan mama's wet, uh, uh, funeral. I'm not going. I'm going to plan the shit from the house and all this stuff. She talking all this shit. And she talking about the son. Like, you know, she's just not here for him. Okay? She don't want nothing to do with that little boy at all. This motherfucking crazy creep pops up from off the side of the tub okay and that tub reminds me like when um when i was growing up in the old apartment that we used to live in one of the first apartments that i've lived in that i remember living in um when i was a little kid uh we had a tub like that with the that was sitting up on the four legs and stuff like that one of them vintage tubs okay there's some of the best baths ever all right um, bitch, I wouldn't trust myself trying to get in and out of that bitch. That's a little bit too high these days, okay? Not with these knees, okay? And, 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 and my, um, unstable ass. But anyway, I fuck around and fall and bust my shit, okay? Um, <clears throat> so they doing all that. He popping up, like, hold on, dad, mom, listen. I just want to say that I'm sorry. I, I I don't understand what take over me. Like, it just takes control, and I don't know what happens. Then I just lose control, and, you know, I, I, I'm really sorry. Please don't leave me. Please don't put me out. Please don't. You know, mind you, he just said he turned to 18, and he going to leave, okay? She said, you going to get the fuck out, period. And, 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 and now, all of a sudden, it's a change in the tune. You know, please don't um put me out, and please don't have me committed, and please this and all this stuff. Bitch, the part that got me, though, because Hunter was pacifying her. It was like, you know, we'll have somebody come to the house and talk to you or whatever. Do your little treatments at the house. Girl, Victoria was on her way out the door, okay? She said, listen, no, I'm not staying up in the house with this boy, okay? That's for one for damn sure, you know? Hunter saw that she was a little shook. He was like, damn, I ain't know uh, demons can get rattled like that, okay? Look at what's going on. Next thing you know, when he popped up and he said all that shit, he tried to call Victoria mom. Victoria said, Victoria. Bitch, don't you ever call me mom again because I never fucking gave birth to no shit like that, you little creepy motherfucker. Bitch, that shit made me fucking laugh, okay? And I'm just sitting here looking at them like, this is some messed up shit. When Victoria left out of there, Hunter still trying to pacify this boy, and he tried to touch him, and he said, uh-uh, I saw exactly what you was doing, okay? Like, you ain't wash your hands. Come on now. I said, get out of here. The last scene of the episode, um, Priscilla get caught up in his room, okay? We're going to go back. Let's take this back. Priscilla is on her way to work. She done went through checkpoint one, made it through clear. Checkpoint two, made it through fine. She get to checkpoint three with Alonzo, okay? And beep, beep, beep. She can't come in. And she like, wait a minute, what happened? I done got through everything else. Now I get here. What's going on? I'm not clear. It was like, well, you're going to have to talk to Sam about that. He's coming in in a few minutes. Sam pop up. Sam done had her put on um, do not enter because, you know, he got to make sure that she ain't going to come up here starting no stuff with the first lady and, and, and try to choke her out. Are you sure you're going to be okay? Are you sure you're going to keep your hands to yourself? I said, first of all, don't talk to me like I'm a child. Second of all, you know what? You could have said no, whatever. Third of all, um, if whatever happens, happens. That's what I would have said. But she was like, yes, no, I'm not going to do anything. You know, it was hurting her to say that shit. It was hurting her to say those lies, okay? You know, she was going to try. She was going to try not to uh, do anything. Keep her restraints, okay? Meanwhile, she made it through whatever. 
and she in the kitchen. The next time we see her, Sam then came down in the kitchen trying to check on her and um just made she up in there like, oh, Sam, you ain't never been up in here all the time. So what's going on? It was like, no, I'm just checking to see how things going or whatever. So Miss Frida, the maid, you know what I'm saying? She getting into it. Let, she she talking and having a conversation with uh Priscilla, just doing a little gossip and stuff, talking about something she got a date, she thinks she got a date or whatever, and um uh, it's somebody that you don't know. And I said, Oh, so we're gonna play that game. Now see, I like the way that she flew that. Okay, I like the way she did that, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, y'all ain't finna be gossiping about me just yet, okay? Because I'm trying to fill out the situation. I said, Don't put Richard on blast because what had happened was Richard went to work, bitch. Richard went to work, he was went to work. And he said, bitch, I'm finna put in some more work with another bitch. That's what's finna happen. And I said, Richard, don't do this. Richard, don't do this. Don't turn into this person. Don't try to get revenge. Don't have revenge sex. Don't have a revenge date. Don't do none of that because that's not gonna make you a better person and that's not gonna make you feel good. You probably gonna feel a little good because you release that sexual energy and that tension or whatever. But after you come and that society's a little bit, that feeling society, you still gonna be pissed off because Nancy still ain't tell you who is the daddy? She still cheated on you. You know what I'm saying? She still lied to you for all these years. You know what I'm saying? It's still going to hurt. Having that little sex ain't going to take the pain away, baby girl, um, baby boy. Okay, so don't do that. Don't do that. He was flirting with Miss Frida. You know, him and Miss Frida been liking each other for a minute. And now he finna act on it. You cute or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about my wife and all that stuff. We, we ain't working. I said, don't put all your business out there, Richard. But obviously something is going on that you're kissing on her cheek and everything. Talking about something. Put your number in my phone. Let me get your number. I said, come on, player. Come on, player. Not play, yeah. Player, come on. You know, put your number in my phone. You know, I said, all right. And then I said, no, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, stop it. Stop it. And when he kissed her on her cheek, I said, oh, no, player, we're not about to do this, okay? So when she in there talking to Priscilla, she said, I might be going on a date, okay? Who you going on a date with, girl? Somebody that you don't know? I said, oh, you know, and then going to let her ask, so what's going on? You, you um, How is Nancy and Richard? They good. Why you ask? I mean, because y'all friends or whatever. I just wanted to know. Don't worry about it. They good. Don't worry about it. I was like, mm, we'll see. He ain't going to do nothing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He a good man. And she was like, yeah, we'll see about that tonight. Okay, we'll see how good he is tonight. But then, you know, Frida started talking about Jean, you know, have you seen Jean? She hasn't seen Jean. No one has seen Jean because Jean is dead. Meanwhile, Frida talking about she she there because she's taking on Jean's shift because no one heard from her. And then she's talking about some. I knew this girl was too young to be here. You know, that's what's going on with these young people, whatever. You know, she's having issues with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend calling up here. You know, they had gotten to a fight or whatever. He's calling up here because she's not answering her phone and all this stuff. How you know about this? Cause she talked to Linda because her and Linda good girlfriends. Okay? And Linda told me. So y'all be up here gossiping about people. What y'all need not to do is be gossiping about people business, especially Jean. And let me tell you something. That's not like Jean. Okay? Jean is a good, hardworking lady. That is what she is. She comes to work. She comes home. And she's always on time. This is not like her. Oh, girl, so what you think going on? I don't know, but I'm finna get to the bottom of it, okay? Then um, she asked her, she was like, I'm about to clean the um, son's uh, uh, room or whatever. She was like, don't worry about it. I'll go up there and I'll do it. Bitch, Priscilla go all up in his shit, right? What baffled me is you got a closet full of clothes, right, that's hanging up. Opened up the dresser drawer over here. Only one drawer had some stuff in it, and the rest of them didn't. I don't know. Was that coincident or was that for real, for real? Okay, did they forget to pile it up or, you know, she just went off script and just opened up drawers when she wasn't supposed to because one nothing in them drawers, okay? And that was a nice-looking dresser, too, okay? And I was like, mm, hmm, hmm. She go looking under the bed, and this motherfucker come in and say, why are you up in my room? I said, oh, no, Priscilla, you about to be his next victim. Damn it. Damn it, please don't. You know, we got to protect our women. We got to protect our women, especially the black ones, okay? And, you know, they not protected on this show. They are not protected on this show because Jean, who did nothing to nobody, I am still mad at that. Why she had to go? Why she had to go? You know what I'm saying? It was just a travesty, okay? Meanwhile, um, 
we dealing with Ellie. Let me get Ellie little ass out the way. Uh, Allen, Allen got some issues. Allen got some issues, so we find out that Allen really is an abuser. You know what I'm saying? He is an abuser. You know, um, at this point, he all up in Ellie's phone trying to get into it and realize that, oh, she didn't change the password. She was like, he was like, what's your password? He was like, I changed it because, you know, I'm working at the White House now, whatever. He was like, you talking to him, huh? You talking to him? He ain't doing nothing but using you or whatever. And somehow he got her to open up the phone or whatever. And it was like, so who is this? We need you. And they sending dick pics. Girl, it was Hunter. It was Hunter, okay? He don't know that, all right? At this point, you know, um, he sends the picture to himself. I said, that's weird. So what you gonna do? He was like, I'm finna go up there and I'm finna find out who dick pic this is. I said, so you finna have everybody pour their dick down, okay? Or you finna follow people in the bathroom and look at their dick while they use the toilet? What is the problem? I said, Alan, you doing a little bit too much. And baby, at this point, you know, he was like, why do you do this shit, okay? She was like, what you gonna do? You gonna hit me again? Bitch, I'll go up there and tell your boss and show your boss what you did to me, okay? He said, first of all, I didn't do that to you. You did that to me, uh, to yourself. I said, no, bitch, we saw what you did. You pushed her into that, um, you pushed her into the cabinet, you know what I'm saying? And you probably punched her off screen. We don't know, okay? But we did see your ass push her to the cabinet, you know what I'm saying? So at this point, you know, um, you're threatening her. You're being very obsessive with her and possessive with her um a little psychotic no a lot of psychotic um and then you know she said bitch let me tell you something i ain't even coming back here okay i'm done he was like first of all you weren't never coming back here and bitch let me tell you something i took a chance on your ass you know i thought those rumors about you with that senator i thought it was just rumors and one faking and, and, and faking shit but then i guess it is you ain't nothing but a fucking social clown okay that motherfucker at that uh white house don't want you he using you you ain't nothing but a fucking slut to him bitch that's all it is okay it was like um i said so Ellie, you a social climber. You a dick climber, huh? Wow, so you really been sexing your way up to the top. So we found out some stuff about them. You know, she said, let me tell you something. You fuck with me, I'm going to make sure they get your ass. Who is we? Who is they? Don't even fucking worry about it. But this shit going to be fucking handled. I said, oh, you suck a little president dick all of a sudden. And you feeling yourself, Ellie. You think they on your side? We going to see on the next episode. All he wants you to do is to suck his dick. That's it. He ain't trying to please her and pleasure you. Okay? He's all in for himself. I said, girl, you getting played. Meanwhile, we got Bobby. Bobby uh helping little Lily to get ready to go meet her husband and all that stuff, you know. Um <clears throat> Talking about some, you know, get use this car and then go get your car and let me know when you get there because as soon as you get your car, they're gonna start tracking you and all this stuff. Woo woo woo. He ain't really wanna see her go. Him and Max have a little conversation. We find out that Max finna get a divorce, okay? And the whole little story about him and Yuma and this Denise girl, it's just gonna add fuel to the fire for the uh the wife or whatever. Okay, so they trying to figure some stuff out, trying to see what's going on. It was like, do you think Diane um, can really trust Sam or whatever? Yeah, Sam, he's an upstanding guy because she's going to go to Sam to get some help. You know what I'm saying? She has already left, and uh, that I hope she ain't dead because I'm pretty sure they already said something about her le leaving and um, <clears throat> knowing that she gone or whatever, uh, dining with them. And I was like, you know what? I don't know. Maybe I do like Bobby and Max together. They trying to figure the things out, but we'll see how that work. You know, they pull guns out on each other next week, so we're going to have to see how this little relationship works. We get to Kareem and goddamn Sharon, okay? Um... I'm a little annoyed because, you know, just a little, every time I see Kareem, I just want to fight him. I'm going to fight him because I want to tell him to stop being a bitch, okay? Stop being a possessive ass bitch. You sound so ill. Like, that's not cute what you're doing. You're hiring somebody. His name is Dale or something like that. Dylan or Dale. Um, pretty sure it's probably Dale. And, uh, you know, you're over there telling Sharon, okay, we got a new guy. He may be the new guy. I'm going to try him out for the day. And 
um, you know, now I need you to move in with me and all this stuff. And if you move in with me, you won't have to worry about bills and all this. I said, well, what's me and Sharon said, well, what's the point of hiring a new guy if you want me to move in when a new guy's supposed to put space between us? Like, he's doing too much. That is not cute. That being obsessive and constantly irritating me and all that shit, that is not cute. That's going to make me back the fuck off even more, all right? So that happened. Then we find out that little Dale is a little nervous around Kareem because he got a little crush. Not necessarily a crush. He just think he cute. You know, he gay. He left his little small town in Virginia. Come to find out this small town in Virginia is where the Ratadouches, okay, Roof Look Coat thing. You know, y'all watch Roofless. I don't, okay? Um... Uh, I just, truth be told, I tried with Ruthless. I watched the first four episodes of the first season, and it was too much for me. It was it was too much for me. It was too much for me. I was sitting there looking like, oh my God, what? It. I said, now, Tyler, I done looked at this just about every everything that you done did, okay? But, ugh, baby, I just couldn't do this one. I can, girl, I don't like the cult shit. I don't like the cult shit in general. It ain't got nothing to do with the fact that he did that. I just don't like that because I know how that shit works after I didn't read up on it. I had to study that shit when I was in school. Oh, my God. And so it does something to me. And then to see it and then to see some of the stuff, like, it's brainwashing. It's mind control. I don't like seeing people in those positions, even if it's fiction or whatever. So I just couldn't take it. I don't like seeing that depicted anywhere you know what i'm saying so that's why it didn't sit well with me you know not saying that it's probably a bad show it just for my own personal reason i just couldn't do it but um anyway so don't even ask um you know so now she got this information wanting him to tell uh sam this information so she called sam up tell him about it and he was like yeah i come down there and talk to him don't tell barry okay meanwhile barry over there at the house and miss nancy up there cooking and all this stuff and he was like mama why won't you just go ahead and tell him what um who daddy is okay she was like no i ain't finna do that i was like girl you getting on my nerves okay like you really getting on my nerves you pushing it bitch you pushing it tell that man who the daddy is okay and the reason why you won't tell it because it's somebody close to him and you feel guilty about it you held it back from all these years or whatever and she said something about ruth or whatever and um was like did uh i saw ruth and all that stuff and i took her to the get uh to the uh uh watch mcjigger and um you know they tried to charge me for kidnapping her and all that stuff and was like well did you get the baby back mom if i got the baby back if i knew where the baby was don't you think she would have been with me okay truth be told it's your fault that her ass was up in here and why did you care because you the one bitch barry was letting her have it okay and nancy kills me the actress that played nancy bitch I, you know that shit would have stung me and i would have sat there like this Really, you gonna say all of that? Girl, Nancy was standing there like this. I said, you gonna let him hit you with the bullets like that and you ain't gonna show him no type of facial experience? Like, bitch, you kinda hurting me. Even with Richard be doing what he be doing, she be just standing there like this. I be like, girl, you trying to keep a face, okay? You trying to keep a face like that shit don't hurt, but that shit do hurt because, bitch, it hurt me. You ain't going to cuss me out of my home. Well, technically speaking, it's Rich's home now, okay? Rich has really turned the locks on him. But anyway, that was the love, mm, the love, the oval, okay? Um, We're going to see what happened next week. Next week look like it's going to be a real good episode too, okay? Bitch, Lily going to be home. Girl, Lily, you better than me because I couldn't play beer to nobody. <laughs> I'd be somebody's secret lover. I always told that. I, I don't know what's wrong with me, but like if I was, if if I had to be a sad piece to somebody, okay? If I had to be a sad piece or a secret to somebody, it had to be somebody powerful, like, or, or a celebrity or a semi-celebrity, somebody of that nature, of that nation. Because that, it, it seemed like it'd be fun. I can keep secrets or whatever, and we could just meet up and do what we do, you know? I wouldn't mind being, <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. Because you know, I'm, I'm dead ass serious. But, <laughs> let me stop playing with y'all. Let me stop putting my business out there. Let me stop putting my business out there. I wouldn't mind it. I'm dead ass, okay? I wouldn't ask no questions, bitch. What do you want me to say, NDA? Okay, you cute. Uh, I could be cute or whatever. What you need done? <laughs> you <laughs> What's good? We can start off as friends. <laughs> 
<laughs> a friends with benefit type of situation. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay. Anyway, y'all, that was over. Let me get up off of here. Let me go do Delilah, and I will see y'all later. <laughs> Peace.